Hi, I'm Izzy, and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to episode 34 of Hashtag Friday Sews. A big thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room, who is the creator of the hashtag. Now, um, what has been going on in the sewing room for me this week? Well, not a whole lot. Um, I got a lot of sewing over the weekend, so after last Friday Sews episode, uh, but then afterwards, nothing else happened. I caught this horrible stomach bug. <laughs> um, it started when I woke up on Tuesday morning and it really knocked me out. I had to take Tuesday afternoon off and basically stayed on the couch for hours and hours and hours and just slept. I couldn't eat anything. So I basically didn't eat for like 36 hours. Um, I'm just now, I'm filming this on Thursday night and I'm just now starting to feel like myself again. So yeah, very, very strange, very strange stomach bug. <laughs> but anyways, I did get some sewing done last weekend. So what did I finish? I finished a pair of pajama bottoms for my son-in-law in a really nice cotton jersey I got a while ago now from Blackbird Fabrics. He wanted something, so he's a gamer and winter's coming, but the room where his computer is set up is a pretty small room and it gets fairly hot. Um, even in the winter months. So, yeah, he likes to hang out in his PJ bottoms on weekends and stuff. So, yeah, so they needed to be in breathable, light fabric, but still be long pants so that he is warm uh, for the winter months. So I made him a pair of, what are they called again? Green style lounge pants. The pattern is actually for woven fabric, but I decided to use a knit and make the cuffs at the bottom. And yeah, it's a pretty, well, it's a very easy sew, obviously. Um, elastic waist, cuffs at the, at the bottom. Um, I did, um, <laughs> I did make them very long, um, as you'll be able to see in the picture. So, Next time I make them for him, I'll shorten them by at least a couple of inches. But he says they're very comfortable and he's been wearing them um, a ton. So that's amazing. I also made my daughter a new unwind sweater in a wine uh, bamboo fleece. <clears throat> and I, I basically used that fabric to make myself a blackwood cardigan, which I also got done on the weekend. And from the leftover pieces, I made her a sweater, but I didn't have quite enough to make the, um, the, the neckline, the band for the neck. Um, so I used a ribbing fabric I had in my stash for that. So yeah, I mean, it's the same unwind sweater that I've been making her, like, I think I've made her like three of them now. Um, very, very easy. So I can whip that up and my gosh, almost under an hour now. Um, so yeah, so she loves her sweater. He loves his pajama bottoms. And I love my new Blackwood cardigan. I don't yet have a picture of it, but um, as soon as I can, I'll grab a picture. I just haven't felt up to taking pictures this week for obvious reasons. So uh, yeah, as soon as I can, I'll um, take a picture and share that with you. The other thing or the last thing I did in the sewing room this week is to cut the fabric for my Montrose top by Cashmeret. So I talked about this in my November plans, actually. Um, so yeah, it's a Poplin Viscose I'm using by from Blackbird Fabric, if I remember. So it's all cut. It's here. It's ready to sew. I was hoping to have that done this week, but obviously uh, life had other plans. So I'm gonna sew that one over this coming weekend. I have zero plans for this coming weekend. So I'm hoping to be able to spend quite a bit of time in the sewing room. 
uh, especially because um, is it Tropical Storm Nicole that's heading our way? So apparently we're going to have a ton of rain Friday and Saturday over here. So perfect sewing weather. The other two things um, I'm going to work on this weekend is first filming my Cashmeret Chilton trench coat pattern review. So it's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I've, I've got my plan. I know exactly what I'm going to say. I just now need to sit down and film the video. So I'm going to take care of that this weekend, definitely. And that will be coming at you on Tuesday next week. So the 15th of November. So I can't wait to share. It's going to be, a, yeah, I hope it's going to be helpful and good. And then the second thing I'm going to also work on this weekend is get started on my octave coat muslin. I wasn't sure if I was going to make a muslin, but I think I have to, given that I'm using a very precious wool uh, for the final product. I want to make sure that it. I'm going to get this right. So although it should be an easy fit, um, I don't want to take any chances. So I'm going to use probably some kind of sheet again. Uh, make a muslin just to make sure it's gonna fit well over here because love notions has not been kind to me in the last couple of times I made stuff from them so I just want to make sure everything is gonna is gonna fit around the shoulders the upper bust the upper back you know with a winter coat you kind of need to be able to put some thicker sweaters underneath and stuff so I want to make sure there's plenty of room there all right um now, in other news, well, sewing-related news, but other news, I received an email a few weeks ago from Rochelle, who owns a fabric store here, here in Canada called Bibs and Boots Fabric. And she offered basically to give me a discount on a fabric purchase just so I can give her my opinion on the fabrics that she sells so of course i accepted a discount on fabric who's going to say no to that and i placed an order with her well the fabric came earlier this week again i was not well so the box kind of sat there um but i opened it today and fabrics are pretty good so just to give you a little bit of info about bibs and boots so rochelle who is the owner um, of the shop. Uh, the shop is in Saskatchewan. Yes, in Saskatchewan, Canada. It is an online shop and their specialty is basically organic knits. Everything is um, Oikotex certified and they've got, wow, they've got French Terries. They've got so basically, they have bamboo, corduroy, they've got denim, they've got jersey knits, sweats or sweatshirting, um, rib knits, they've got solids and prints, sweater knits, waffle knits, they've got a whole bunch of things. Um, yeah, and again, everything is organic and Oikotex certified, so amazing. Now, um, it is a small business, one lady. I love to support small Canadian businesses. And their fabric appears to be really good quality. So it came in, obviously, recyclable paper, which Bear approves of because he's lying on top of it and making all kinds of noise. Now, I don't know if every package gets delivered like this, but there was a thank you card with their business card and a lovely note. And inside the envelope for the note was, oh, there it is, a small amethyst. Is that cute? and a card explaining the properties of an amethyst, which is protection, cleansing, and intuition. I love this, love this. 
So yeah, a nice little note and card, um, a fun little crystal. And here are the fabrics I ordered. So the first one is a rose or mauve or yeah, very, very light purple um, fabric. And this was a bamboo French terry. I got a meter and a half of this. Now you can see the little loops on the back. Um, it is a little bit thinner than I'm used to for French terry. Like usually the French terries I've ordered and used were a little beefier than this. So this is pretty lightweight, uh, but it's got really nice stretch to it. Nice recovery. Um, and it is very, very soft. I also really like the color. Now, obviously I just, just got this fabric. I haven't washed it yet. So I don't know how it's going to wash up. But, um, yeah, uh, really, really nice. And then I ordered the same fabric, but in a teal or jade, they call it on the website. It's more of a, yeah, to me, it's more like a, a turquoise or aqua color. I have, um, I ordered two yards of this. I was going to make myself a top with it. Again, because it's the same fabric, it's a little lighter than I expected um very nice very soft and i i'll report back on how this fabric washes up because it's going to go in the wash this weekend then i saw this beautiful um okay there please hold on all right, sorry about that. So I ordered this organic jersey, cotton jersey. Look at this print. Like how beautiful is that? I love this, love this. So I ordered a yard and a half or a meter and a half of this. Um, it's got, well, it's got pretty good stretch. Yeah. Um, and good recovery. And to go with that, I got some navy blue ribbing. So I think the two together are going to be really, really nice. And I was thinking of making myself a Busan top by Itch to Stitch with this. So I'm going to use the navy for the neckband and for the cuffing or the cuffs, the, the booze on top's got nice long cuffs. And then the bodice in this cotton jersey. I think it's gonna be very, very nice. So yeah, from what I can see, um, fabric is of good quality. Again, um, you know, the future will tell how this washes up and how it sews up. For now, I can tell that the French terry, like I said, is a little bit lighter weight than I expected, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, Bear is being a menace tonight. Um, but yeah, so, and the prices are good for organic fabric, which is typically more expensive. Fabric in Canada is not cheap. So, um, but if you're in Canada, the shipping is more reasonable. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far I can say I highly recommend. So give them a look. I'm going to put a link to the shop below. And if you do order them, you can order from them. You can tell them that I sent you. Now, just to be clear, um, they gave me the discount or Rochelle gave me the discount and I ordered the fabric, but I was under no obligation to share that information with you. I will get no um, reward or anything like that if you do order from them. So I just wanted to be um, upfront about that. I really and truly think the fabric is really nice. I love all of the choices. There are a ton of gorgeous fabric in that shop. 
Plus, like I said, I really like to support small Canadian businesses, uh, especially those owned by women. So yeah, go give them a look. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for me this week. Um, like I said, not a, not a super busy week. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and I will see you soon.